वेलकम क्लास टोर लॉजिक डिजाइंस यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी स्टार्टेड न्यू सेगमेंट इन स्वाडोक्स ट्यूटोरियल एंड दैट इज स्वाडोक्स सिम्युलेशन इन दिस टॉपिक वील कवर बेसिक सिम्युलेशन दैट इज स्टैटिक सिम्युलेशन इन स्वाडोक्स इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल टेक एन वुडन चेयर फॉर सिम्युलेशन इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम शोइंग how stress strain factors affects on wooden chair we applying here average human force in newton there are many softwares for simulation but swadox is easy to learn with some basic concepts we are applying factor of safety also and that is some basic info about today's topic so if you like our previous sort of tutorial videos then like share and subscribe our logic designs youtube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification of latest videos so let's get started our today's video tutorial class this is our chair here i'm not applying and wooden materials we are applying wooden material in simulation before that first go to the swadox add-ins and select swadox simulation and wait for few seconds to load simulation now we can see here on right side of the swadox add-ins simulation tab is now activated now click on that now go to the new case study now click over here now you can see here study window is now open now put your name here i am putting in capital letters swordworks chair ch i r chair now select first general simulation that is static simulation now click on okay now you can see here at the bottom side of the tree the sorox chair simulation tab is now activated all options are present in ribbon bar or a command bar as well as tree now you can activate material from here or you can also activate from the command manager or a command bar now you can see here the click on c1 right mouse button click for activating material you can see here apply and edit material option is now displayed okay and you can also activate the material from ribbon or a command bar now click on apply material and wait for few seconds to load material then scroll down and select woods and select here first belsa belsa is a one of wooden material also others wooden materials are present over here beech maple oak pine and other ones now select here belsa for this chair now you can see here on right side there are some properties of this belsa wooden material elastic modulus poisson's ratio shear modulus mass density and other properties of this wooden material scroll down here to see various properties now apply this material to our chair now go to the apply and click on it now you can see here the belsa wooden material is now applied on our chair the chair color is now converted into wooden material now go to the fixture to apply fixed geometry select fixtures 
from command bar then select fixed geometry now you can see here in standard there are three types fixed geometry roller or a slider and third one fixed hinge now we need fixed geometry that means our wooden chair displacement fixed with tiles or a other planar surface for that select all bottom faces of our chair legs select one by one all bottom face okay now pictures is defined over here now click on ok option for next external loads now go to a tree you can apply external loads from here and also from external loads advisor from a command bar select force ok then I am selecting force now select force ok and select surfaces ok here I am selecting surfaces where force is applied by human ok now put here SI unit then put here force in a Newton here I am putting a normal force that is 400 Newton now click on OK option for external loads applying you can split also but this is a simple chair now go to the mesh ok now mesh this chair click on it and go to the create mesh and now mesh window is open and select mesh density ok now click on ok option now mesh progress you can see here the mesh is now activated ok now you can see here result option ok but we need to go run the study click on here now you can see here in a results stress factors displacement and strain factor is now displayed this is a stress factor ok now you can see here clearly if we applying the stress on a chair now go to the stress one click on it and select chart option now first in a display option check first two options in a box check this one and uncheck this last two ones and put here manually 100 value the maximum value is 100 and minimum value is a 10 okay now in a position as it is now okay after all values are putting here now you can see here in a stress plot the all values are now changed okay now go to the displacement you can see here the displacement after applying the force 400 Newton 
okay now you can also change this chart option but here i'm not changing these values let's take as it is okay now go to strain now you can see here the strain factor after applying the force now go to the results and click on it and define factor of safety now click on next button at step 3 up to step 3 now you can define your here factor of safety now you can see here in a tree factor of safety also defined now our simulation of this chair is now over now you can see here all results are showing over here in a tree one by one now I adjust the all information as per our requirement now go to the stress one and animate this stress you can see here the animation view of this simulation displacement also now go to the displacement and select animate you can see here now you can adjust the speed of this animation okay now next one strain animation for that first close this one and go to the strain and select animate now you can see here the animation of this strain okay that's it class this is a static simulation of this wooden chair i hope guys now you can understand how to activate simulation in SOLIDWORKS as well as how to simulate any component in a SOLIDWORKS. Now if you like this video tutorial then like share and subscribe our logic designs youtube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification of this latest videos on your channel. Now see you in the next video till then stay tuned thank you. Thank you.